Alright mate. Hi there Jack. I've just come to see you stitching. Yeah, stitching somebody up. You don't do a knot this side. No, it just goes round the back. And all the knots are on the top of the wing, not at the bottom. I don't know if there's any hard and fast rule for that, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Well, it's not dope, it's uh, heat shrunk. Oh, is it? Hot air gun. Yeah. Yeah. I've done it for some years. Yeah. Well, I'm stitching it because it's on this rib it, if it was stuck to it and try and pull it. So this is all left unglued. So when I shrink parts, it is allowed to move over the ribs. Right. And once I've got the tension. Sorry, I thought you shrunk it at this point. Well, yeah, I already have, yeah. But then, then I do the stitching, you see. Yeah. This red stuff, pink stuff, is a weave sealer. Mm -hmm. That doesn't, doesn't do anything to the cloth, just stops it becoming porous. And then I paint it silver like them over there. Mm. That's uh, got yeah. aluminium in it to reflect the UVs. Right, I know. Mm -hmm. Is this where you tie the knot? Yeah. Oh. yeah. Can I? Okay, I'm, I'm with it. Pinch that and then you split that open and put it either side like that. And then pull that through. That's it. And then you just have to keep the knots away from the hole as long as you can. Pulling it back until you get the first flat. the first flat right and then that one we'll have to cross there yeah and then you have to pull the other one the other end of that till you get the sort of second part of it there and then you hold your finger on it and pull it that's it and that's it done. That's good. Thank you. Yeah, it's all right. And then you put a strip yeah. inch wide down here. Yeah, that's uh, because you've got little holes, you see, and that'll let water in. So you put that on the top and that seals it up again. And of course, sometimes there's slight rips on the corners. And it seals Is that it with the tightening of the Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, the, the string. Yeah. And this is uh, this one's got to be got behind to get rid of these. It reactivates. It's got a few air bubbles in it. Yeah, you put an iron on there, and it reactivates the glue. And um, yeah, right, well, looks good. The nylon underneath. I'll, I'll glue the inside so. The, and then it's on the outside. When the, the nylon underneath, when you want to inspect this, because there's flying controls under it or wiring, they just cut that out and then do the inspection and then slap another patch on. That's all they do. But these, these have got to be tidied up yet. But if you glue the middle first, you can get them to stick in better and then just glue the outside afterwards. Um, and you've stitched, they started stitching these now. Oh yeah, I've stitched all the way down to the last two. Took the fuel tank out. And We're perfect, so you just have to do a bit of creasing. This reactivates the glue and tightens the, the glue. Yeah. What sort of heat do you use? Low? Cotton. Cotton, that's high then? Yeah, quite high. It takes the sharp edges off as well because you, if you rub your finger down there, you can feel it sharp. So you do this and it kind of melts, melts it, does it? Back to being smooth, yeah. Oh, that's good. It's to fill the weave so that 
when you put paint on it it doesn't drip through but it, it does go through to a degree because that also glues this to the ribs before I stitch it once it goes it'll soak through then it'll dry give it five or six layers it'll fill the weave up and um, then this is just a UV, yeah, UV protection. protection yeah that's got an four. aluminium coloured paint but it's aluminium it aluminium is an powder aluminium. oh yeah. is it yeah. Resin. yeah do you, you mix it yourself then do you? no comes in a tin but you have to stir it because it goes gludgy at the bottom uh, you, when you fit irish linen you put it on as tight as you physically can yeah. yeah you hold it tight and then you do all your stitching and then you do your doping yeah and uh, it then as the dope dries because you can slap the dope on like yeah. this and then it dries as it dries it, it shrinks the linen yeah. Yeah. but with this of course it only shrinks where the hot gun is yeah. so you can't stitch all this else it would bend yeah bend over yeah. so you only glue it around the outside yeah and then when you, so you, you can feel it moving when you do that yeah. yeah and then you just do it all over a couple of times till you've got the right noise and then you know, that's that's it. It. And years of experience. So there's no no measurement of tension on no, either slinning or on the poly fiber. Not that I know. I'll tell you what. all the way around. Yeah, it goes around here. You pinch it there. Wrap it around, and it's pinched there, just underneath there. That's where the flap goes, so you don't put anything yeah. in there. Seal it at the ends, and then shrink it. Yeah. Because then it can move as it shrink it. Once it gets down to size. Then I'll put that uh, pinky glue stuff in that will um, glue yeah. it to the frame, the weave film. Yeah. How do they know how tight they need to shrink? Does it shrink to um, a maximum sort of thing and well, it, it won't go any further? Because it, you're using this polyfiber or seekonite, you're supposed to use an iron. Yeah. But I was trained with a hot air gun. And when you put it on there, because it's, it's not attached anywhere else, you can feel it. As you heat that up, you can feel this move. Oh, can you? Yeah. yeah. And once you've gone all over it, go over it a couple of times, and you and you know, yes. you know when it's tight enough. So it. there's no measurement for not, tautness. Not that I know of. No. No kind of press it in with a, a pound weight on the top or something. Not that I know of. There may be, yeah. but I've never done that. No. And of course, once it's all positioned itself, then you glue it and. Each one, yeah. you know. We've got the hinges. Yeah. yeah. Will those hinges be working? I don't know what they're going to no. do. I think they'll probably have it on display with one wing folded away. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and the one open. Yeah. Yeah. So as you went all the way through the ribs on that one, from the top to the bottom, this one, you've only gone yeah. around the... Well, I can get to it, you see. Yeah. If I can't get to it, I'll go right yeah. through. But I can get to this. Yeah. Because it's open ribs, I don't have to go all the way through. So I just literally stitch it along the the rib yeah. there, yeah. as you can see, and then do it again there. Yeah. yeah. But, but here you'd have to go all the way through. Um. Could you, or could you get in with a needle? I can't remember. No. Now I've gone all the way through there. Yeah. I was going to say it'd be a bit difficult, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. I just I can't remember. It was a long while, but yeah, yeah I'd started there all the way through, and then this is the side I did it when I couldn't go through anymore and then I did it individually you see yeah. and then you run the on the outside the continuous the tape tape uh, no the um, the thread yeah the thread goes on the outside you can have what they call a hidden stitch where you take that thread underneath and back out again but I can't see the point when it's covered in tape you can't really see it anyway so just do that then put this tape on top to seal the little holes in for water yeah and that's it yeah, yeah. But, uh, that's it it's nothing special yeah. Yeah.